Hey guys, Angus here from anguspt.com and um, one day I'll update the website and it might even be worth going to. Um, this is going to be my second review of Lumen because we are four weeks in. Um, you might see my other video or you're watching this video because you want to know whether to buy the Lumen, yes or no. So I'm going to kind of give you a quick, uh, so I'm a personal trainer so I'm doing this from a kind of personal trainer point of view and helping people out and I'm very much of the mindset that technology is going to overtake us just like um, cars took away carriage makers jobs and um, just like professional chess players eventually got beaten by computers and the kind of fitness industry is slowly getting replaced by electronic things and electronic gadgets and that's not necessarily a bad thing and um, I think there's maybe always going to be a place for a human coach and a human connection but I really think that these technologies are, are just getting better and better and better. And every kind of aspect of training can be, um, can be found in a computer system and maybe we can do this through gadgets and electronics better. So I, I love fitness gadgets and I love testing them out and I love having a place. So if you like fitness gadgets and things, hit a sub, um, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and hit a like and leave a comment if you want to know anything more, if there's something I haven't covered. So anyway, as I said, I've been using this Lumen. It's a breathing device. Um, and if you've seen Lumen, you've kind of been followed around by the adverts and stuff. So it's kind of saying it's hacking your metabolism. Um, and hacking is such an overused word now. It's, just, it's kind of a little bit hyperbole. So when, when I'm going to talk about this, I'm just going to talk about it from my experience. So what, what it does is, does it hack your metabolism? So hacking is just a shortcut. So it doesn't necessarily hack, it gives you an insight. And you might be like, ooh, why do you need it? In my first video, I had a few kind of ne negative comments on, on it and like, hey, you should just do this and you should do, do that. And this is people that, in my personal experience, I don't think they understand nutrition on a, on a deep level and they don't understand metabolism on a deep level. If it was just a case of calories in and calories out, which is a huge component and a major player, um, there wouldn't be a health problem in, in, in the world today. There is so many other complex issues and things going on um, with weight, with metabolism, with all sorts of things. So there's a hormonal balance, there's an energy balance, there's individual life and circumstances, and the Lumen gives you one insight. So the way the Lumen works is on a metric called RER, and this isn't a new thing. They've been doing this in sports science universities forever. And all RER is, is respiratory exchange ratio. So you breathe in a certain amount of air, you can detect in that air through a device that, hey, you breathe in so much oxygen, that goes into the lung, fills up the lung, and then as you breathe out, you breathe out a certain amount of CO2, which is your, your waste product. If you breathe out loads of CO2, you're mostly burning carbs. And if you burn out, uh, or if you breathe out a little, it's fat. And that is what RER is. It's just respiratory exchange ratio. And simply that's what it does. The lumen does this. So the actual use of the lumen is actually quite tricky. You inhale through the device. Okay, quick side note on the device. The device is lovely made, feels nice, works great, fantastic. It's got this cool kind of magnetic lid. So you take a big breath through it, the, the app guides you through it, you hold that breath for 10 seconds, and then you breathe out that breath in a steady rate. And then you do two to three of those. So it's not a single breath, as they kind of like to in their advertisement. You do um, three of these breaths. A little bit time consuming, a little bit tricky because you can get it wrong very often, but the longer you use the machine, because now I've been using it for, or the device, the, the longer you've been using it, I've been using it for four weeks, it seems to work and you just get the hang of it a lot better. You practice it and it, it, it becomes second nature. So I rarely make a mistake. The times when I make mistakes, when I've just eaten something and my stomach's quite full and I can't quite get a big air in, that happens um, if you're kind of out of breath, but they want you to sit down in a little while. So back to what it does. So that's what it's telling you and why that could be useful is it sort of tells you if you're breathing out mostly fat and you're just about to do a hard conditioning session, a, a mad workout, a weightlifting workout, a carb dominant workout is what I should just say, then you really don't want to be burning fat for that. You really want to be switching your fuel source over to carbohydrates. At the same time, um, there's certain parts of the day that you want to be burning fat and not burning 
carbohydrates. If you're going for a walk, you want to kind of come back from that walk and know that you've you kind of switched into a fat burning mode. And I know those words are kind of overused. So for me, because I've been doing fasting, intermittent fasting, I, I like intermittent fasting, it suits my lifestyle, it helps me control my hunger, it's really good, but I always do my workout in the morning. So one of the things it's taught me is a really obvious thing in sports science is time your carbohydrates around your workout. And I just haven't been doing that for absolute ages. So in the morning, I get up, normally don't have anything. I have a coffee, a little splash of milk in it. And if I get time in the morning, I'll bust out a workout, um, say around about nine, 10 o'clock, finish the workout around about 11. I normally be pretty pooped and exhausted and normally not my, my greatest workouts. And then I don't normally eat until one, two o'clock. That's pants, that's really terrible for sports nutrition, that's really terrible for, for exercise, it's terrible for muscle growth, it's terrible for everything. And um, you really wanna jack a meal in straight after your workout. Fire down a protein shake and fire down some carbs, whether it's a banana or some gummy bears, it doesn't matter too much. You want something, not nothing, and I've been giving it nothing. And Lumen's kind of shown me that. I'm a quite an effective fat burner, but being an effective fat burner for a hard workout is pants, that's not so good. So Lumen can show you these little things that some things are very obvious that coach will tell you, and then some things are not so obvious, but it's really interesting getting the, the, the fuel. The other thing it doesn't tell you is if you're burning carbohydrates, where are those carbohydrates coming from? So I went for a, a 25k walk, and when I get back back from the walk, I was burning, um, I was at a three. So the scale that Lumen gives you is a one, that's all fat, a five is all carbs, and then you know all the numbers in between are somewhere in between that. And I came back from the walk burning a three, but I hadn't eaten anything on the walk, it's a 25k walk, I should have been really heavily burning fat. So that means my body has somehow sourced some carbohydrates, which could mean it's metabolized some of my muscle stores, through a process called neoglucogenesis, which is just creating glucose out of muscle tissue or just creating new glucose and you know primarily probably coming from muscle tissue. Um, and that's not a particularly good thing either, because you don't want to eat your your uh, your you don't want to eat your lean tissue to, to supply energy. So that was an interesting thing that, that Lumen's kind of showed me that. Um, if that is happening, then you need to up your protein levels. So you eat, you're, you're burning your dietary protein rather than your, your, your muscle stores, and that will help preserve your muscle stores. So the overall view on Lumen is it's super duper helpful at giving you these insights. And loads of people are like, oh, why do you need it? Why do you need it? And then I would say, well, why do you need my fitness pal? Why do you need um, dumbbells? Why do you need a squat bar? Why do you need any tool? These are just tools and tools in the, in the toolbox. Uh, when I kind of first started dieting and exercise well over 10 years ago, there was no MyFitnessPal, there was no smartphones. I used pen and paper and I ate mostly chicken, broccoli and rice because I knew the, the macros in those food. Since then, I, you know, you get MyFitnessPal and flexible dieting has become more of a thing. And I think Lumen giving you this insight to what you're burning so you can better nutrient time your nutrients so you can have better exercise performance. And if you have better exercise performance, you've got a chance of building more muscle, becoming fitter and moving up a level in your fitness. Um, and also you've got more chance of, you know, burning the right energy in the right workouts. And that's what Lumen, I think, is really good at, at telling. The app itself is, is lovely to use. Um, it does give you a kind of meal plan, but, the meal plan doesn't give you any of the recipes how to make it. Um, it will just be kind of like, hey, here's here's a meal and it's got this and it's delicious and the picture looks lovely, but it's just telling you the ounces or grams of this much chicken, this much potatoes and this much salad, which is useful, but it's not perfect. You're gonna have to use another external app to track your macros like MyFitnessPal or Mike's Macros or something along that lines to kind of, because Lumen asks you, what, what did you eat yesterday? It gives you a macro target to follow and it kind of gives you the same calories, but it's moving the fat and carbs up and down to kind of play about with that and help you with this term metabolic flexibility, which is probably a hot topic just now in sports and nutrition. Is it a, is it a helpful tool? I think it's a really helpful tool. Are the macros, good i think they're they're pretty good and they do adjust to to what you're doing 
I would say the protein's up a wee bit on the lower end, but hey, just maybe maybe go with it and see and see what happens. Um, so that's kind of my four week review and why I think it's I think it's a good tool. I think it's a really interesting tool. There's another thing called P O N E and it's it's a full mass, but it's five thousand pounds. But you can test multiple athletes with it, and you can also use it while exercising. So as you're moving up uh, gears in your exercise, you can see what fuel source you're burning compared to what heart rate you're at, which I think is really interesting. But it's five thousand pounds. Lumen is. I think $200, $300, around about that price. I do have a discount code below so you can check that out and see what you think. Um, I, think it's, I think it's interesting. I think it's unique. Would I recommend it to, to my clients? Um, I definitely think I would. Um, I think the breathing thing is a little bit of a tackle. I, I think it just gives you a really interesting insight into what's going on inside your body and how you're handling fats and carbs. And I think that's a major player in, you know, calories are, are kind of, well, calories are equal by definition, but how they affect you is different. If you have carbohydrates and it gives you an awesome workout, you will burn more calories in that workout. If you, go do a workout on the wrong fuel source, you're not going to have a particularly effective workout. And I think, again, it depends what you're like, what your muscle fiber type is like, what you are training, all these things come into play, but it's another clue, another tool to kind of figuring out how you work and how you uniquely work and how you can time things better and how you can get better with things. So anyway, long-winded uh, video today on the Lumen. If you enjoyed it, if you have any questions, give me a shout. Um, I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, and that's all. Thanks for watching.